Bye. Would like to welcome you to the awesome show. I'm your host, Tume Anderson. To my right, Randy Atia. All right, it's the awesome show. Your host, Tume Anderson, with my man, Randy Atia, is in the building. The Dean. <laughs> the Allen Dean is in the house right now. Don't you call him Randy, call him Coach. This is the hey. Dean. Co dean, how you doing, brother? Good to be here, Tume. All right, all right. The director of the A Town Throwdown, Allen's JV coach, Coach Doug Snyder's right hand, left hand front man. <laughs> You're in the building. A tough game tonight, though, Coach, huh? It was tough. It was tough. Golden Hawks are pretty good, man. Their Golden Hawks are yeah. rolling right now. They are sky high right now. They are doing their thing. The number one seed in the EPC play also, um, uh, going Bethlehem Catholic Golden Hawks, um, doing their thing right now. So uh, we got you here, Randy. You guys had a, a good game. How's your JV game? Talk about the JV game a little bit, real quick. The JV game went into OT. I believe the freshman game went to OT as well. So two games leading up to it went to OT. Uh, you know, JV game with JVs are playing tough. I got a couple freshmen on on that team. Uh, you know, we, we pulled it out, did everything we needed to, to to win the game. Okay, okay. Well, you know, got the win out there. A game against Allen, 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 Allen. When I think of Allen High School, man, it's you know, I think uh, there's so many great legends at Allen. There's Terrence Roderick, Darnell Braswell, of course. A couple of them coaching at Becca. A couple of them are coaching at Becca. I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you were out there to make that point out there. A couple of them are coaching at Becca. We have Garrett Johnson, mm -hmm. Terrence Talib, Coach Mark Smyrna, former Allen coach, is now coaching at Becca, and uh, of course the head coach Ray Barbosa, Allen's all-time leading scorer. Ray Barbosa is coaching at Bethlehem Catholic. I mean. You know, does that bring any kind of animosity, any kind of feeling? I mean, you have all these Allen guys coaching at Bethlehem Catholic. How does that, uh, how is that jiving over there, Allen? It's all love, too. It's, it's all, all love. love, he says. It's all love. You know, you know what, uh, Coach uh, Tia, I was at the first meeting here between Allen and Becca. Um, intense game. But, you know, it just didn't feel, the energy didn't feel right in there. You know, it felt a little, a little cold in there, Randy. It felt a little cold. I got to put you on the spot right now, Coach. I got to put you on the spot. You know, Randy, um, you know, obviously you said Ray Barbosa, all-time leading scorer, Allen. All right. He's coaching there at Bethlehem Catholic right now. And, um, you know, there are, you know, there's, you know, Bethlehem Catholic does have an Allentown feel to it. It does have an Allentown feel to it. Um, you know, there are several kids from the Allentown area at Bethlehem Catholic, supposedly. So, um, you know, but, you know, part of those kids, some of those kids, they go to the uh, Catholic schools and uh, at, at Allentown, Bethlehem, and so forth. So, um, but, you know, it just feels like a lot of animosity out there. I just saw some things on the social media saying how Allentown kids are at Bethlehem Catholic. It was a big deal about that. Even at the game, um, a kid... You know, you know, got got in got in some trouble from the game. Another Allen personnel got in some other minor trouble from the game. Coach Randy, you're in the building. We're in the awesome show. Give us some insight. What's going on there, Allen Beckett? What's going on over there, Coach? Hold on, before you even talk, Coach. Before you even talk, I'm cutting you off. Let you know because uh, I don't think uh, hmm, Allen has, has Ray Barbosa lost on an Allen floor. Sure. I'll tell you, he has not. Okay. He has not, okay? Um, you know, and last year, Allen had a great run. And who defeated uh, Allen last year in the regular season? The Golden Hawks. So I'm not just making this stuff up. There's something There's something in the pot there. There's something in the pot. What's going on, Coach? We got you in here. What's going on? That was last year, though. Okay. Last year. That was last year. There was another game that happened after that between those two teams. That was a championship game, I believe. And uh, Between the leg alley -oop. Uh, there was a between the leg alley oop that was all over. That's last year. Right? That was last year. They're on top right now. You gotta give them credit. They, they are. What they need to do. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, too, it's you know, there's a lot of guys that are obviously Allen guys that are over at Becca right now, and it's kind of like one of those things when you get together with family, and you know, you have a little backyard brawl. And oh, oh kind okay. Of stuff happens. Okay. Um, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of emotion, but you know, at the end of the day, it really truly is. It's it's sports. It's high school basketball. No hard feelings. Um, you know, all those guys are, are pretty cool guys, and I get along with all of them just fine. All right, all right. So, you know, basketball is basketball. Kids are going to make decisions. Parents are going to make decisions on where they want to take their kids. And, uh, you know, that's how that, that all played out right there. So, we have Coach Randy Atia in the building. Allen basketball is in the house. A-Town throwdowns in the building. Um, and we've got a couple things, some awesome things we've been seeing out there, Coach. All right? We go out, you know, we're always watching, as always. you know this. Always watching. There's some awesome things we've seen out there. I'm going to start off first. 
first, I, I'm going out to Bethlehem. All right, I'm going out to Liberty High School. Yes. You know, there's some greats that have come through Liberty High School. We're talking Mr. West. All right, was all time leading scorer. Now I'm talking somebody else is putting their names up in that bag. We're shouting out Alex Serrano right now. All right, Alex Serrano, thousand point scorer. Alex Serrano, uh, good, <laughs> kid got some game, huh? Yeah. Tell us a little bit. What's your what's your input on Alex? You know, Alex Serrano. Coaching against Alex for it feels like forever now. Um, you know, just coming up through the ranks and stuff. Um, but I mean, the kid's just a flat out scorer, man. I know a lot of the kids use the term bucket. He's a yeah. bucket, man. I mean, he just he finds a way to score. Um, no matter how much attention you throw at him, he just finds a way to score. He's a knockdown shooter. Um, you know, Alex is just, he's a great kid. He's a great competitor. We've had our fair share of battles. With right. Him. It's awesome. All right. So, Alex Serrano, congratulations. Thousand point score uh, at Liberty High School. Not too many guys have getting, been able to live up to that feat. One guy who has been able to live up to that feat at Liberty High School, of course, as well. The all time, the best player to ever step foot at Liberty High School. Sorry, John John McDonald, that's not you. You are not the best player to ever walk foot in, at, at Liberty High School. All right, we're talking Darren Hilliard. Money. All right, money they call him Darren Hilliard. Money. He's obviously on the Austin Austin a G League team right now, affiliate with the San Antonio Spurs. And uh, Randy, this guy for the first half of the season, first team All G League right now. Awesome. Yeah. That really is awesome. Yeah, it really is awesome. Yeah. The kid just, you know, from all the stories, I don't, you know, know Darren all that well, but from all the stories I've heard, he's just a flat-out worker. I mean, no matter what situation he's been in, um, he just, it's hard work and everything that I've, from what I've heard, you know, he deserves everything that he's getting right now. No question, no question. There's Darren Hillier right there, first team all, all G League right now, um, doing awesome things out there, awesome things. A kid right here from Bethlehem, the Lehigh Valley. I remember I was coaching. Too, what was he ranked coming up? Oh, Darren, Darren, you know what? While we're here, Darren Hill, there's a message for all you young fellas out there. Right? I'm pointing to all you guys out there, all you hot shots out there. You're too good to do this. You're too good to do that. Darren Hill here in the NBA right now. Yes, all right? His freshman year, ninth grade, he was running on the freshman court. <laughs> I'm going to stop that. I'm going to repeat that again, all right, Coach Randy Atia. Freshman, ninth grade year, Darren Hill was playing freshman basketball, all right? So all you guys who are thinking, oh, you know what, I need to be playing varsity right now. If I'm not playing varsity, I'm not good enough, or I'm not playing JV, I'm not good enough, or I don't, I'm not number one in the LBBR rankings, I'm not good. Listen, man, it's no, that has nothing to do with that. This is a proof of the pudding right keep here. Nose, keep your nose down and keep working. Man. Keep working. That's all Darren did. Keep working, keep working, keep grinding to the point right now. He's in the NBA. Awesome stuff right there. Awesome stuff. Stuff. We'll keep going with this awesome stuff right there, all right? We have, you know, the shoe game, man. We're going to talk about the shoe game a little bit right now, Coach Atia, the shoe game. Some of these young bucks out there, they're out there showing off all their, their, their new gear, their new shoes and whatnot. Justin Paz, all right? He's a hot shot shooter, man. You know Justin. He gets buckets, all right? Yeah. Justin Paz, check out those kicks right there, man. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what those are. I think they're Kyrie's or there's a Kyrie's. Colorful. We, colorful, bright. <laughs> it's, it's exciting. The kid, the kid got flair. Right. It's not just on the court, Randy. No. All right, the kid got flair off the court as well. Check out those shoes, JP. We're, see, we're watching you, baby. We're always watching. We see you out there. Those shoes, we're, we're fresh. Those Kyrie's. I'm, you know what numbers they are. I, I, don't, I don't. You know, yeah. I don't. I don't know any of that stuff either. All right, keep them moving. And stick on the shoe game. All right. Sure. All right. You know, like coaches. You know, they they got a little flair in their game too. They got a little flair in their game too. All right. So we're gonna go out to. To Sales University. I don't say it to sales. Just when I say to sales, I don't never say it, giving no life out. You can't get this. Can't get that credit. That school. No life. We're not gonna get them no life. We're here at Muhlenberg College, Muhlenberg Campus. We're not giving now this school to Sales College. We're not giving them no life. No life. All right, Coach Randy. What, I do love their coach though. I do love their coaching staff. They got a good staff. They're, they're awesome staff right there. And we're gonna start off with our homie Darnell Braswell. All right, check him out right there. Check him out. All right, he's down profound. The bright red shoes. I mean, kid got flair, kid got some game, huh, Randy? Darnell's smooth, man. On the court, off the court, he's a smooth dude. He's a smooth dude. No ands, if, and buts about it. It's Coach Darnell out there. We seen you, Coach Darnell. You made the show. You made the show out here. Those awesome shoes. We caught you out there, all right? But, Randy, all right, this is the most awesome things I've seen, all right? You know, we're always watching. Always. All right, so we happen to be watching, and uh, you guys just played Parkland the other night. I'm not going to talk about that game right now. No, you you know, I want to talk, but I'm not going to talk about it. You guys did play Parkland the other night, and, um, you know, there was a timeout call. The game was late. Timeout being called out there, and the players, you know, I, I'm watching on TV. You know, Coach, you know, Tom Stout's out there yipping and yapping. I don't know what he's yipping and yapping, doing this thing with his bald head, doing this. And I don't know what he's talking about. All right? And, you know, we're looking. I'm looking at the camera, and all the kids, they're out there. They're out there smacking, uh, smacking Coach Snyder up there. I mean, uh. 
Huh? It was a white shirt. It was a white shirt. Uh, you know what? What was what was up with that? The coach Snyder, the Andy, uh, the Allen coach, man, the Allen coach out there. You know, all the guys are touching up his uh his gear. What was up? Give us some input on that, man. The Allen coach. So, you know, I mean, obviously we've had some struggles at the free throw line. So, you know, everybody's just you know touching up on Coach Snyder for good luck. Yeah, I mean, is that is that what we're gonna no, call it? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'll tell you what really happened. I mean, some of the guys were complaining. That okay, the okay. Hands were wet. And okay. We knew at that point in the game we had to hit some free throws. So Coach Snyder said, you know, you guys, your hands are wet. I don't really care what's going on. You got to make your free throws. I don't care. Got to you make your hands on me. Wow. Your hands on me. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Right, Jake, you got those highlights over there of those uh, those Allen free throws, uh, those Allen kids out there getting that in. Give 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 the people a little bit of that. Uh, I think you just passed it right there to your right ear. Give the people. Let's let's check this out right here. All right, check that out. What is going on over there? There they go. Use my shirt. They're using their hands. Use my shirt. There they all go. Watch, them, watch all these kids go, man. What is, what in God's name? What is God? What are they doing? Oh, my goodness. All right, Jake, one more time, man. Play that one more time for the people. One more time for the people. All these Allen kids, they're all up on Coach Snyder. What's going on out here? What in? I don't care if you use my shirt. That's what he told That's what he's telling them, huh? All right, you know. Listen, man. When you coach for when you coach for this long as Coach Snyder, when you coach for this long as Coach Snyder is coach, you are capable of doing. You can do whatever you want to do, man. You can do whatever you want to do. All right. So those are some awesome things that we've seen out here, Randy, Jake, my friend, the sales boy. Take us to these next highlights, please. Always oh, watching. Always oh, watching. Welcome back to the awesome show. Tune Anderson, the Dean. <laughs> Randy Atia is in the building. Randy the Dean, all right. Um, further, we're talking about Allen basketball a little bit. Mr. Allen basketball here. Uh, went out to Central Connecticut State. You know anybody at Central Connecticut State? Yeah, I know a couple guys. Out you know there. a couple guys. Tell, tell people who you know out there, Randy. Tell the people who you know out there. Uh, Talik Williams. You know what's Talik there. Williams? Okay, okay. I've heard of him. I've heard of him. Ross is out I've, there. I've heard of him. I've heard of him as well. I've heard of him too. I've heard of him. They got some guys up there. Got, There's a guy from Reading too, I think, that's up there. Yeah, uh, the Reading coach. Uh, yeah, I think he used to play at UConn, possibly, and made the NBA. Play with LeBron. Yeah, Donya Marshall, we're talking about you, all right? So, all right, we made a trip up to Southern Connecticut State. We had to go see what was going on. A lot of PA flavor up there, Randy, because we are always watching. And a lot of PA flavor up there. Um, like we said, Coach Danielle Marshall, Anthony Ross, and Tyler Cole. It's interesting. Tyler Cole and Anthony Ross, I don't know if you know, they're brothers, all right? Um, you know, Steph, but have, I'm not trying to, they're brothers. I don't know if that's right. Steph, half, and all that. Blood. Your brothers, your brothers. That's all I need to hear about, all right? So we were able to catch up with them, all right? We caught an a inside, inside, inside info on them, all right? We got up there, checked them out. Jake, why don't you take us out there to these, these clips of Anthony Ross and Tyler Cole of Central Connecticut. Was a he was around. You yeah. Know what I mean? And it was uh, Thanksgiving one holiday, and uh, he said he had a basketball game. And I ended up going to the basketball game, and the moment I walked in, he grabbed the rebound and he went coast to coast. Um, it's great. You know, obviously you have you know the brothers as coach and, and a player, but it's been great because you know it, when you were on the court, it's not a brother relationship. You know, it's a, it's a coach-player uh, relationship. Um, and you know, one of the good things is as a as a coach, I don't have to hold my tongue. Um, I'm able to coach Tyler the way I, if, if Coach Ross wasn't here. And, stuff. Right. and I think 
that's one of the best parts about it. Um, you know, obviously having him on staff, it helps, um, you know, because he's able to, to teach me things that, you know, need to be done to be able to reach Tyler and stuff. But um, it, it, it's been great. And, you know, it's a work in progress, and I know he gets moody just because I'm hard on him. You know what I mean? And, and the hardest part about it is <clears throat> I'm never going to stop. You know what I mean? So he has to accept it. And and I told him, I just said, it's not about it's not about what we're doing in basketball for. Right. I mean, I'm trying to teach you how to be a man because, you know, if I'm not here tomorrow, you're the person that has to take care of the family. Um, it's a special moment, you know, for me in my life just because I never thought I would be here. So when you travel a lot, I take everything in, you know, from going places, you know, seeing the bigger windows and, you know, just traveling, this is a really exciting experience. And, you know, I feel like, I feel like not a lot of people get to experience that. So it, it gives me a sense of gratification. It's not, but I mean, I, I take, I take Allentown with me on the road. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a lot of pride in where I'm from. Playing with my family, you know, my family's teams in it. and. You know, just being around family, I think that's the most the most important part for me, just feeling like I'm a part of something. Just telling people that you play college basketball isn't enough. Right. You know what I mean? So I pretty much just stress to him is that you got to finish here and, and get a degree. You know what I mean? And then position yourself to pretty much take care of yourself for the rest of your life. All right, we're back here, the awesome show. We're out there, and that was game Central Connecticut State taking on Wagner. NEC uh, battle going on up there. We've got to catch up with Tyler Cole and Anthony Voss. Awesome, very awesome, Randy, to get to catch up with those guys doing such great things. You know, uh, Anthony Voss, let's go back his story a little bit. Obviously a DRF legend, mm -hmm. all right, uh, made, you know, 1,000-point score at DRF. Um, but unfortunately for Anthony Ross, um, his freshman year, he did get eliminated from the PIAA playoffs from a, a Parkland Trojan team. We're not going to talk about that though right now. We're not talking about that right now, though. But uh, he did get it. But uh, he's doing since then. He's been doing awesome things. East Charlesburg University, a uh, uh, coach at um, – at Moravian College Assistant and also a head coach at Penn State Lehigh Valley to where now um, East Charlesburg University, that's a good point there, uh, stopped at East Charlesburg. Now he's at D1 at Central Connecticut State. This is an awesome journey. As a coach, tell us a little bit how you appreciate the appreciation of that kind of journey. I'll give you a little background on, on Anthony. Anthony actually, um, this is Inside Info. Inside Info! Anthony Ross played for Joe Jarjus, who happens to be my uncle as well, head coach at Thera. Um When I was a kid, Anthony actually used to cut my hair. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, we did not know that. Anthony's a little yeah, bummer. Little 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 I don't know. Cut out there, huh? Yeah, you know, you change it out there. I know you, you, know, you, I know you, <laughs> stays, you got that beard going there early, man. You got jokes you up? Aunt used to take care of okay. him back in the day. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've known Anthony since I was a kid. I mean, it's great to see him at that level now. Um, he's definitely worked his way, and, and again, he deserves to be where he's at. Without question, man, Anthony's definitely moved up in the game, man. It's so nice to see him move up from a barber to a Division One, Division One coach now. You know, it's funny how you say that about you and Judge Juice, you know, more stuff here. I'm, I'm at the, the Allen Deroff game, all right? I'm there with the sideline reporter, Gracie Anderson, and she's checking out the game, and she's all into the game. She's checking it all out, and she's like, hey, Dad, man, the Deroff coach, he looks just like the Allen coach of the blue shirt. <laughs> Yes, Jarjus, right. Ratia, the look-alike. Gracie had him a little confused, a little confused out there. But, um, yeah, those guys are definitely doing great things at Central Connecticut. It's great to catch up with them. We also got a piece on uh, Tariq Williams coming soon. Well, I'll be coming up next soon. But um, moving on here, uh, Coach Randy, going to move on here to – we're going to talk about more of the, the Pennsylvania, more of the basketball going on in the state of Pennsylvania, all right? Um, obviously, a lot of action going on. We were here at the Hoop Group event, which you were present at. You got to see Archbishop Wood. Yes. Got to see Archbishop Wood. Yeah, yeah, make that face again, make that face, oh yeah, yeah, they, yeah they're pretty good, pretty good, seven footer, lots of shooters out there, uh, one of the players took out uh, Tyree Pickron, mm -hmm. alright, Tyree's out there, just broke the record, Randy, yeah, all time that. leading score at Archbishop Wood, that's, uh, that's no easy feat. Got a little like Westbrook to his game, Tyree. Ooh, ooh, with the deadly jump shot yeah. though, that jump yeah. shot is yeah. super wet, alright, that's Tyree Pickron, all time leading score at Archbishop Wood, and um, to catch up, with uh, the more of the Pennsylvania talk, Southeast PA talk, all right, going out to the Philly area, we caught up with our boy Josh Verlin, right. all right, City of Basketball Law. Oh, he knows his hoop. He is. He's one of the main main uh, catalysts of, of Philadelphia hoops out there. We're able to catch up with Josh and um, with some interviews. Let's, let's take that. Jake, let's see what Josh had to say about Southeast PA hoops. 
It's an awesome show. We are here live with the man, Josh Berlin of City of Basketball Love. Josh, all right? We need a little update. We need to know what's going on down south. Oh, down on Route 476, down to 76. What's going on? Start us off with the public, with the Catholic League, Josh. The Catholic League is nuts this right. year. I mean, it is absolutely nuts. There's literally seven or eight teams. Seven, I mean, seven or eight? Seven or eight. I mean, like, you got Newman, you got Wood, you got Bonner, you got Trent, you got Carroll. I mean, it is it is crazy. I just saw O'Hara being uh, St. Joe's the other yeah, day, too. I mean, O'Hara, like, that's so, it's so impressive about the Catholic League this year is, like, the, those 8, 9, 10, 11 teams. Right. Like, O'Hara's good. Bishop McDevitt's good. I can do Oh, that's good. Oh, the Sal, that's one of the, you know, the Sal. I mean, it's, it's crazy how much talent there is in that league and how competitive it is. And I mean, I couldn't even pick a winner for you at this point. Well, Josh, this is, hold up. This is an awesome show, Josh. We need a winner right now. All right, all right, we need right. a winner. Uh, Hopefully, you're through your uh, body. Give us a winner right yeah, now, I'll Josh. I'm going to say Newman Gretti, honestly. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that I've kind of been underrating them all year. I thought Wood preseason. Okay. I said Bonner recently. But if you think about Newman, like, they got the seniors. They, they got, got the Amount too. They, they got no award. Chris Hanks is having a really good year. They got Marcus Little. And I got Carl Howard, you know, who's won a few championships in this day. So, but it's going to be real tight. I mean, Newman Gretti could win it, and they could not even make the Final Four. Like, that's how good this league is. All right, so that's a quick update. Day on the Catholic League, John. All right, let's go. Let's, let's touch District One a little all bit. Right, let's touch right. District One, all right? Uh, Plymouth Whitemore, Josh. Yeah. Talk, tell us what's going on with it. Talk I mean, about what's going on. You haven't seen PW yet. They're undefeated still. They got a seven foot one kid in the middle in Junior Naeem McLeod who is getting better and better every single game. They got okay. the Williams twins this season, yeah. honestly. Ish Horn has been playing out of his mind this season. And I mean, I, I don't see anybody other than Abington. Okay. It's Abington or PW who's missing one. Obviously, Abington's got Eric Dixon, the talented junior. Lucas Monroe having a really good season. Well, I like season. that lefty. I like yeah. that lefty, John. Yeah, I like yeah. him. And Robbie Heath, obviously the senior guard, okay. four year starter. Uh, but, you know, and then there's a lot of good teams in this. There are a lot of good teams. I don't know Always. if I can mention them all in this right, minute, right, but, uh, right. but, but I think you know, PW and Abington. PW and Abington is yeah. Josh's on a radar pick there. All right, so Josh, you know, we've been talking the suburbs, we've talked to the Catholic League. Let's go, let's get into the public league, yeah, Josh. Let's absolutely. go to the public league. Public league, it always starts off top with Andre Novo's game with 10. Oh, yeah. What's going on over there? They are loaded this okay. year. I mean, Andre, talk about good coaches like Carl Auergale, Andre Novo in the public league's kind of turned into that, that, that version, you know, right. of Carl from the Catholic. Okay. I mean, they are stacked this year. That junior class is a must-see. Dante Scott. Ooh. Sharif Knox, Ooh. Demir Bishop, uh, Jamil Ray Jr. Yes. And then you add in the sophomore line to Taylor, 6'9", post had a terrific right. season so far. Um, they are a really tough team. And then, you know, I mean, you know, the Constitution, Constitution your team, MCS, MCS, yeah. you know, they're going to make their runs. Okay, in the okay, bracket. okay. One team from the lower level, keep okay. an eye on. I'm okay. talking oh. too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the oh. Freedom Charter. They got a bunch of juniors. Khalil Turner, 6'6", Turner, six, six. Scott Spann, 6'2", six, and tough as nails. He's a Philly kid. In the, in the single A bracket. Look for Sankofa to make some noise. All right, all right. Well, there you have it. There's our Beast of East report with the City of Basketball Love, Josh Berlin, and we're always watching. All right. That was Josh Verlin of City of Basketball Love. You can check out his basketball website, cityofbasketballlove.com. Doing awesome things out there in the Philadelphia area. All right. So uh, we just, you know, got a little bit chit and chat in there, Randy. Um, let's take this out to these highlights, man. Let's check out these highlights. Why don't you tell Jake? Always watching. Always watching. Oh, it's fun. 